oh, things have taken a bit of a twist. Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. So today's video is going to be an interesting one. Now as much as Leo is a fantastic car, he is quite practical, he is a hot hatch, we need something a bit larger and something we can use as a proper workhorse. Leo's starting to um, become a bit used and abused and we don't want that do we? So, so with my cumbersome hands and putting a buggy in the boot and adding <laughs> dents and scratches. So yes, in today's video we are hopefully buying a cheap estate. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, this is my wife Patsy. Um, she used to be a regular on the channel, but we now have a daughter, and as you can imagine, that, that takes up a lot of Patsy's time and energy. Um, so yes, that's this... why I look half asleep, but like yes. a bit draggled. I don't know, whatever you want to class me as. So um, no more than one hundred miles. I think that's a big I enough radius. Um, let's see, maximum two thousand pounds. We're not too bothered about the cosmetics. So if it's got dent scratches, we don't care because that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea of this because we want something that will be a workhorse. That we, we, we you know, we're not too concerned if it gets a ding here and there. Something that we can use and abuse. So I'm going to kick off with an old dependable. Volkswagen Passat 2 litre TDI SE looks pretty good on the outside. It's in Crawley, not too far from here. Uh, mileage is 117,000, which for a diesel is nothing, it's, it's barely run in. Okay, so August 2022. Oh, that's got quite a few advisories. Looks worse than what it is, but mm, no, thank you. Volvo V70. Oh, that's got heated seats and it's leather. Oh, I have found in Brighton proper cruise mobile an Audi A6 Avant. A6, okay, interesting. And it's a V6 engine. Oh. It's on a personalized plate, so I don't know what year it is. It's on 154,000 miles. It's not too bad for a diesel. And the description is it's a V6 2.5 TDI. Mm. Um, he's owned the owner's owned the car for fifteen years. Okay. Um, it has had all the timing and auxiliary belts, water pump, and thermostat replaced just over um, thirteen thousand miles ago. Yeah, pretty good. MOT is into October next year. Keep talking. This is um, good. All tires have five to six millimeters tread, so a decent amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hasn't mentioned obviously brand or so on, but we might be able to see that in the photos. Bodyworks has no dents and only light age-related plate blemish paint, paint blemishes. I'm going to add to them, so that's fine. Yep. It has a sunroof, and it has Ooh. been the sunroof has been sealed, and a new roof lining has been fitted. Ooh. One advisory on the last MOT rear tire. Um, yeah, no, both rear tires um, cracked. So uh, uh, I love the uh, spelling. They put tread area, but spell area. A R I A A R I A. And our budget was two thousand. Mm. This is one thousand four hundred and fifty. Ooh. And it's like it's a silver colour, it's silver grey. And that's in Brighton, so you could get to Brighton train station in about twenty minutes. Um bit niche, so bear with me. Saab No. Saab nine. No. Will you let me finish? That is 975 quid. Okay, now so I like it. Under a grand. So you got this. It is a bit, it has got a bit of rust here and there. Okay. Um, but it's 975 quid. And what's it, wrong with it? It's just old. It mm. mileage is quite high, 171,250 miles. But okay. it is a diesel. Um big boot. What are you about to say something else then? Um it's got a very large write-up, which Break it down for me. Which always bodes well. He's well. He's he's done a lot of work to it. 
Uh, let's check the old MOT history. Now, he has made an effort to blank out his number plate, but an eagle eye will detect that if you actually go in... By the way, I'm not being rude while I'm looking through you, my phone. I am listening to what Aaron's saying. You can actually make out the number plate. Nothing gets past these beady little eyes. A lot gets past my eyes because I can't see through them. That's why you can't drive. A few advisories, but nothing too major. And I think he's already addressed one of the, one of the advisories because it did state in the advert he has replaced the oil switch. Oh, everyone, everyone meet Ruby. She's come to help with our car. This is one you sent me the other day, actually. Um, no, Ruby, cats can't have coffee. No, no Ruby, no. Uh, so you sent me this one the other day. Yes. It actually looks really tidy. It's not too far away. Uh, 55 plate A4. Mm -hmm. What's Ruby doing? Um, oh. Wrecking my rug. Oh. It's all right, I'll send her for another one. Cool. If, you, if the only thing you want this Christmas is a new rug, then you're easy to buy for. It's got um, nice premium tyres on there. Massimo's. Yeah, who needs Michelin when you've got Massimo's? I've never heard of Massimo's. No. Sounds like something a sumo wrestler would have on their car. Massimo Ottima. Sounds like a footballer. And here comes Massimo Ottima. He's through on goal. <laughs> what team did he play for? I've got a feeling Ray's going to knock the camera down. No, she isn't. Okay. That looks quite tidy. 19th of March. Not ideal. Um, yeah, and that quite, had quite a few advisories. That's quite there. a few advisories. Um, well, for starters, if they haven't already been replaced, it would need uh, a brand new set of tyres. But just, although that is a cheap brand, that looks that, I'm, that looks like it's got enough. It I, looks like it's got decent tread on it. Could be wrong. I think that's a new tyre. They've maybe addressed it. So they've just put budgets on there. I found a 2003 BMW 5 Series. 530i. What does I say? E39. If I'm, if I'm, if I've got my um, model codes correct. So it's a petrol automatic. Mm. It's on 194,000 miles, which I mm. think is quite high. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. If it's a diesel. I'd, I'd consider it, but um, no. How, how much is it? Just under two grand. It is a 530, but still. Now, you're going to turn your nose up at this, but bear with me. Bear, so, Grizzly, Panda. Volvo V40. Manual, diesel, 104,000 miles. Dealer's got very good reviews. Yes, I know this dealer. And it's quite... Car dealer. And it's quite close to where we used to live, so getting there would be easy. Ish. Give it a chance. Volvo, dependable, solid, safe. Does that Volvo stand for something? Probably on, no. Look, electric seats, ooh. Heated seats, ooh, leather, ooh. New boxes. Um. Okay. Nice big boot. Well, obviously it's an estate, that's why we're looking at these cars. It's not really a looker, is it? It isn't. But, to be honest, the looks are kind of quite low down in my... Um, well, not for me. I don't want to be seen being chauffeured around in a crap mobile. Who cares? It's a workhorse. That, that for me, is a strong contender. Okay. I, I present to you a Jag. So, Jaguar X-Type, 2-litre diesel. Yeah. Under a grand, believe it or not. Really? Uh, it's done, where are we, 145,000 miles. Um, yeah, under a grand. It's got rear parking sensors. That's good. The only downside with this one. Oh God, it, it, but anyway. Um, the boot isn't quite as large as the other cars we've looked at. Okay, but the, it still fit. The, the interior looks good though. It would still fit, obviously, everything in that we need. Yeah, but I. Th yeah, th yeah, the boot is, is smaller, so that's worth bearing in mind. But under a grand for Jag. You can't really go wrong. It's got Bridgestones on it as well. Look, like someone's actually bothered to put some good tyres on it. Bridgestone Tarantas, they're, they're pretty good tyres. So, 
thumbs up, whoever you are. AL Prestige Cars Limited. Shout out to you. Okay, paintwork is awful, but look past it. Skoda Octavia VRS. Yes, please. You know I like these cars. Under 1,200 quid. What's wrong with it? The paint and the bodywork, it's abysmal, but I'm not too fussed about that. So you can see there, the offside rear door. Um, it doesn't match. I didn't know Skoda made it in two-tone, but never mind. It's like that VW where they, what was it, the, the Harlequin? The pilot, Polo Harlequin, yeah. It, I, do you know when I first saw one of them on the road, I thought someone had actually legitimately gone to a scrapyard and just put bits of a car together. Oh, I think it's what Volkswagen just did. They just left, had leftover parts. Do you know what? I, I love those cars. Sorry, continue. Um, bonnet is, yeah, it, looks like, it almost looks like someone's put but, something. Yeah, like battery acid paint. or something. Yeah. Um, uh, we, could do, we could get that and do a separate video. Perhaps a, a small, he wraps my car. A small dent in there. Um, yeah, it's all it's different tones of red. Um, but twelve hundred quid, or under twelve hundred quid. Look at that massive boot. Put a ream up on it. You could genuinely. I know. The interior looks pretty good. So you know, you, you the, um, know I like VRSs. The rear seats are missing the headrests, which are annoying, but I'm sure you can get them on eBay for next to nothing. But this is the bit where I look at the MOT history and then I just like want to pass out. So, uh, LJ53ZDE. Well, December next year. So it's only just been done. Front brake pads wearing thin. straight away. Front brake pads wearing thin, fine. They can be easily replaced. Um, both front tyres near the legal limit. Tyres just easily replaced. Yeah. And the exhaust has a minor leak of exhaust gases. Has, okay. Has done 160,000 miles though. But the dealer's got really good reviews. The only downside is... It's probably the furthest away. They're like near Bristol. I think it's time. Shall we ring, ring some people up? Good morning, Charles. Oh, hi there. Um, is your Octavia VRS still available, please? Yeah, we've still got that one Oh, perfect. And um, what kind of service history have you got for it, please? Uh, yeah. My aunt has got no history with that one. Some parts changed it for me, and they just give me the number for the car, and that's it. I couldn't tell you. Right, because. I couldn't tell, tell you anything other than it drives okay, um, and it's got a sensible MOT on it. That's about it, really. Yeah, okay. Um, and obviously, you're not going to know when the cam belt and things like that were done on it. Okay, so is everything is everything working okay on the car? Yeah, I mean, when the car came in, there was one thing I had to do that I had to change the driver door a lot. Other than that, yeah, that's the one on it. Uh, I would tell you that the body work was not the greatest, but it was not a bit of lack of tail here and there, and everywhere, basically. But yeah, mechanically, wise, a bit of lack of tail. Engine turbo works great. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm unfortunately I'm not actually based that near you. I'm actually in Worthing, so I'm just kind of shopping around at the moment. Just want to get a bit, a bit more information. But um, yeah, you've been you've been very helpful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Bye for now. Hello. Oh. oh, hi there. Um, have you still got the Volvo uh, V40 available? The kind of maroon burgundy one. Yeah, it's available. It's a nice car. Okay, and have you got have you got the um what service history have you got for that Volvo Classic? Previous owner, the father was a mechanic who always maintained his vehicle and done everything for him. So okay. He have no such record, but every time he needed any maintenance, he got it done. Okay. And it's a part exchange that's coming to our stock as well. It's not something that we usually sell, but because when I looked on the market, the car was like a collector's car, a car that holds its value, it's going up in value. It's a good little run around for someone that wants that. Okay. Okay. Um, is We're it... based in Mitcham. Oh, sorry? We're based in Mitcham, South West London. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, I used to live, live in that area, but I, I know Mitcham quite well. When do you want to come down? Um, I'm just looking around at the moment. Does everything all work on it? Do the electrics work okay? So I can see it's got electric, electric seats, heated seats, that all works okay? Yeah, that works. Yeah, okay. If it has got a cam belt, so I'm not too sure if it's chain driven, do you know when that was last replaced? I don't know. I don't have no 
But where was buying this car? I was talking to loads of people on this vehicle. So I wanted to have a touch a few days. Some people are saying that they buy it for the sake of £250 to get the handle done. Right, okay. No worries. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you very much. I'll let you know. Okay, okay thank right. you. Know. The thing is, though, he, it's all good him saying, oh, previous only established was a mechanic. What proof have you got? I'm not saying he's lying, but at the same time... It's like you working a car garage, you could go. How, how, how do you prove that? And I, and I don't like it when they say, oh, I've got loads of people looking at the car, because... Have you really? If, if, if that car's got that much interest, and it's such a classic, why is it not sold yet if it's been up there for a few days? That's annoying because I, I quite like that car, but after speaking with him, I'm like, hmm, don't know. Hello. Oh, hi there. Um, my name's Aaron. Um, I'm looking at your Audi A6 Avant on eBay. I uh, just wanted to see, well, I'm, I'm guessing it's still available. Um, actually, I sold it the uh, day before yesterday, mate. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, but it's still up. For God's sake. <sighs> That's very irritating. Oh, things have taken a bit of a twist. I'm out of breath. I've rushed out the flat because I'm now heading to the train station because I'm heading to Christchurch, which is um, in Dorset. Apologies if the camera, camera work is a bit shaky. It's all very rushed. I need to get the 12 o'clock train because the way I need to get to Christchurch, the trains are every hour and the dealer closes at four. So not a lot of time in order to um, yeah, get things sorted. The car I'm looking at is one that we haven't even spoken about yet. So uh, yeah, uh, anyway, I've got a train to catch. Goodbye. And there it is, the car I have come to look at. A 2006 Audi A6 Avant SE 3 litre V6 TDI. And of course, it's got some age flaced marks. It's been around, it's been well used. Now, believe it or not, this car has over 210,000 miles, yes. What am I doing? I've gone mad. But just because a car is high mileage doesn't mean that you should avoid it. As long as, as, long as it's been well looked after, then it should be all right. Right, I'm gonna go inside, have a chat, have, have a look through the paperwork, and uh, who knows what will happen. So here we are. I've only gone and bloody bought it, haven't I? What am I doing? Um, yeah, so the car for what it is, is in pretty good nick. Um, it's got a bit of wear and tear of course, but hey, it's been around for quite some time and it's done many, many miles. So, yes, here it is, my new family V6 estate. There we go. Got plenty of mod cons, even for its age. Yes, it has got some blemishes and a few scrapes here and there. But just look at all the space. I think, think the car's unlocked. Look at that, luggage for days. Absolutely fantastic, the tailgate does come down with a bit of a crash. So I think the struts will need replacing at some point, but that's a nice easy job. Um, yeah, so there would of course be a first drive video, plus uh, possibly a few more shen shen shenanigans with this car. I can't even speak now. Um, yeah, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession.